So I have this completely overgrown small aquarium and lately found two different types of hitchhikers between the algae. First the splatterwort. This Uticularia giver is a carnivorous plant that grows underwater. And second on the Uticularia those tiny water mites. They are either a species of Hydrocetida or an aquatic type of Oripadita and feed on detritus and algae. Since many of them are living on the Utricularia, they may also feed on this plant or use it as a substrate. So I set up this jar to have a dedicated ecosystem for both of these species. Because the bottle has such a small opening, I made a funnel out of a piece of paper. The first layer is a fertile soil to add some nutrients to the system. I covered that with some gravel to keep it from floating to the top. To add the plants I added a little bit of distilled water. Because the Utricularia is a floating plant, I decided to put some pearl weed inside. Hopefully it will create a beautiful carpet. I accidentally pulled out this tiny plant, so I also planted it into the bottle. It is probably a Rotala rotundifolia. Afterwards I added the water and spilled most of it on my desk. Good job. Then it is time for the Utricularia. Here you can already see one of the water mites attached to the plant. To separate the different strings from one another, I just use the chopstick. In the leftover water from the utricularia you can see some movement in this time lapse. Water mites are still present, so I decided to add those as well. This way it was also easier to get the debris and duckweed out of the bottle. As a carnivorous plant, the Utricularia is able to catch tiny organisms with its bladders by sucking them into it. It is not necessary to feed them, but to prevent the water mites from overpopulating and eat up everything, I added some ostracods with a pipette. Baby ostracods can probably be eaten by the plant, but I don't think that could happen to the adults, as they are probably too big. So they will compete with the water mites for detritus and biofilm, and also support the growth of the utricularia. 
This will hopefully create a self-sustaining ecosystem with a predator and prey cycle.